welcome to the first video in a new series on the new machines that's in the shop. This is now going to be the machine room and we've got an assembly room being finished over there. The first video, none of these are going to be in depth at this point. It's going to give you a little overview while I get to grips with the machines myself. This is the new Ortendorf F45. Um, I've got the digi uh, meter here, digi readout here. I've got the CNC style fence, CNC style uh, rise and fall. LED light on the scoring unit. I'm gonna maybe start using the scoring unit a bit more. Um, saves having to keep changing your blades for tear out or trying to put a zero uh, or putting a zero clearance in. And what's nice with this one is the LED lights up so you're not gonna put your fingers over it with a bit of luck. Um, but I'll show you kind of around the machine as we cut some, uh, we're repairing some stuff today over there, the last little bit of the corner. Um, we're going to put some ply up, uh, make some units or some shelving over there. So I thought this would be a good chance to just show you the saw real quick and then we'll go in depth on all of the stuff. There's more things in the room as well. If you look over there, there's this amazing sander which I'm going to show you all very soon. I've got a new, um, lots of people asked me in the past, we've got a new um, compressor which is dry air and self, um, sort of self draining and then Real beast here, something I've always wanted. We've got the Profile 45Z from Format, which is like a Felder machine, top end, absolutely killer. We're making all the windows for the new building and the doors, bifolds and everything, which will all be on the video for the next building through there. So you'll see that coming. And then I've still got my faithful uh, AD951, which is the 501 planer. That's there. So let's get started on this saw and we'll see how it all looks. Okay, so we're cutting a panel 55 and the way this thing works is really quite unique. It has three positions. So position one, which is here. If we bring this across and touch it onto there and press that, that's now position two. If we send this all the way down and lock it into here, that is now position three and we can move it out and do our cuts. So another really cool feature on the F45 is this lock. When you're moving stuff around, the table tends to slide. So when you're trying to load, you just lock it anywhere and then you can bring your material in. And then push it up hard on the fence. And then you've got your start and stop button here as well, which is really cool. So as I said, I'm gonna use the scoring unit on here. And the way the scorer works, you start the main blade, start the scoring unit, or you could, if you're working up here, you've got the same buttons over there. Start your main, start your scoring unit, and we'll show you over there, the little light comes on. When you're actually working in the shop you're going to pull this down this helps keep the material and your extraction and also gives you a safety but it's just good if you're going to start using a scorer like me i don't use it all the time and you do tend to be focusing on the safety point being here so that red light is absolutely killer really good idea so one of the major things i had the wa6 before which is an awesome saw but one of the major things about getting like a cnc style saw and in fact, everything in the shop, as I show you the new gear, you'll see is all CNC, meaning it's like numerical control. It means we can carry on making this little unit and then come back and we know that if we go 182, if we forgot to do a shelf or want to do an extra cut, it's going to be the same every time. And that's the main difference with nudging the fences and doing it by eye. And even with this over here, even with this little point where it's uh, 1514.0. Now for what we're doing, really, if I move this, this little... It's not really that important for this kind of work, but if you're doing super fine stuff, it's really good to be able to know that if you've got a cut list, every time you dial in 1514, it's exactly, rather than a couple under one way, and then the next time you cut, come back to it a couple of days later, it could be a couple over, and you start to get massive discrepancies, especially on big shelving systems.
so I got this saw from RJM. Um, I was really pleased to get it from a UK dealer. Um, the last saw was from Grove Machinery, the little small Ortendorf, he was a dealer as well then. Um, RJM are now the importers. I've got to say, they were super helpful with this. This saw was in stock, and this is the spec, kind of, they, they've kind of standardized this as a UK spec machine. 3.2 long bed, uh, we've got the CNC here, digital display on there, the LED light on the scorer, uh, it can take up to a 450 blade uh, as standard, and I think it's a seven kilowatt motor, but I need to, I'm not really good on all the specs. But basically everything that you want um, in the UK, well, we, I'm not actually using this much as a panel saw, uh, I do cut some sheet goods, but if you know the channel, I'm cutting big slabs and things like that. So really, really good for that. Now, what was interesting, this is the first saw that I've ever bought where I actually had it professionally set up. Now I've done videos on the WA6 and I've shown you how to set it up, but it is really nice having a pro do it. Someone that does it every day and gets a feel for clearances here. I had mine done super tight, this clearance. Um, another really nice thing here, this fence has been set up in such a way that um, really a really cool way if you're depending what you're doing but this back of the fence here um, doesn't really want to go much past the middle of the blade that really helps with any pinching but if you're doing now this is a CNC style fence you'll see in some of my other videos I use a little magnet put it on do my bump stop but now this is CNC I can obviously dial in my stops bring my fence right back here and use that for the bump and then when I'm coming to cut my material I'm not going to get any pinching or any trap in there, so that's really cool. Now I know that all makes perfect sense that we're going to use that as a bump stop um, and we're going to move it away from the blade to stop pinching, but this really needs to be set up super accurate because if you're coming back here and bumping there and bumping there, now we all know that this fence very slightly needs to tow out so that nothing's being trapped on the blade, um, but it's quite a long fence and this is so accurately set up that even with it back in this position, I could cut a sheet of ply and still find it perfectly square. So the setup on this machine is absolutely spot on. I'm so pleased with it. No more using tapes, no more worrying about it. Dial it in, do your cuts, repeat cuts, absolutely awesome. So I've got to thank RJM for supplying the machine and they're super quick service. I had two different engineers come when it was installed and commissioned originally, it was left for a while. A couple of the calibrations we needed to tweak, I don't know if it was the floor, uh, that was Robin, and then we had Martin come, spend most part of the day, and just go over the whole machine again after it had sort of settled in, we had the heating in, and it's all more acclimatised the building now, um, and it's been absolutely faultless. So I really thank all the guys there for their quick effort um, getting me the machine when they knew I needed it and setting it up for me virtually instantly. Um, going down the road, we've got some really interesting news about our jam as well, because they've actually commissioned me to make a new table uh, for their um, meeting room, which is their new meeting room. So I'm really excited. That's gonna be when my resin room's done and I can uh, go back into producing the really large tables. So probably gonna be end of Jan Feb. So I'll keep you informed on that. I'm sure there'll be lots of videos. So I'm really excited about that. So if you're new to the channel, um, this is my Rui um, connectors and clamps. Uh, this is a Rui uh, multi-function tabletop and they have these little fences which are sacrificial for you cutting if you're using a track saw. I'm going to come back to Rui because if you're new to the channel, it was quite a long time ago I did a focus on this. Um, I also use, as you'll see, a lift table. Both companies make this table, Rui do it and also Felder. Um, this is actually the bigger one, which I might do a little bit of a video on. This is, this is the 500. Um, we did have a problem with the smaller one with the massive tables because the pump is at the back and we can't get our leg under. So this lifts a lot more weight. So if you've got really big resin tables or big dining tables, this is an easier one to lift. Um, and it's very, very sturdy. Pretty difficult to turn this one over. It's a really good system. There's no need for clamping with those little foam pads. So now we can pre-assemble the stuff from the top, drill through, flip it and fit the shelves on. So the massive benefit of the CNC style machine is obviously this, no test cuts, dial in 250 which is the spacing and you're just going to keep knocking out a perfect 250 every time.
Okay, that's it for this one. Um, just about wraps it up. Um, I'm so excited. Will's now with me three days a week. He's my son. Uh, if you've been following the channel, you know he does the fabrication for the steel and stuff for me. Um, now with Manorwood three days a week and the productivity is just insane. We knocked this little shelf up for the uh, storage in the shop. Took about 25 minutes. So effortless. Um, working with the CNC saws um, and having an assistant in the shop. Man, I just can't wait for 2022. Um, the productivity is just off the scale. So really pleased about all that. Will is also fabricating now for himself freelance. So if you want to get in touch, if you need something made, let us know and I'll put you in touch with Will. He's also helping with some of the video work. So I'm hoping that's going to get a little bit more exciting. Uh, having a camera not stuck on a tripod all the time, really speed things up. Till the next one, see you all later. Okay, so welcome to the first in the talks about the new kit in the shop. This is the new Altendorf 3... F45, isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so welcome back to the shop. This is the first... To what is it? What is it? <laughs> uh, I mean, obviously when you're working in the shop, you're going to pull this down anyway for your truck. Action. Boom. <laughs> okay, welcome to the first video in a new series.